Hello everyone, welcome to 4D Makers Project Videos. In this video, we will build a 3-day weather forecast feed project using the 4D Systems Gen 4 IOD 32T display module. The Gen 4 IOD is an all-in-one display solution for your Internet of Things applications. A perfect platform for your IoT projects that requires a graphical interface and solution. The platform is easy to use and Arduino compatible which makes it perfect for both new and experienced users. This project uses the Wi-Fi capabilities of the Gen4 IoD to get a comprehensive 3-day weather forecast from API XPU Weather API. Weather forecast is fetched and updated automatically 3 times a day using the network protocol request. To build this project, we will need the following A Gen 4 IOD 32T 240x320 pixel resistive touch display module with integrated Wi-Fi A Gen 4 IOD programming adapter Programming adapter for the Gen 4 IOD modules A 10-way FFC cable or flat flex cable connector To connect the IOD programming adapter to the Gen 4 IOD module and a 5 volt external power supply. To program the Gen4 HMI display, we will need a micro USB cable and a micro SD card. You can visit our website for the complete code for this project. Once you have the zip project, extract the project to the destination folder you prefer and launch the workshop for IDE and click open to navigate to that folder. First, load the 4D Arduino extended graphics file to your Gen 4 display. Open the file WF4DARDUSD. Load the code to the display and then load the graphics onto the micro SD card. To summarize the programming of this project, the project is divided into three major parts. First, the NTP time request via UDP. Next, the API XPU weather API request via TCP and lastly, the Gen4 IOD graphics handling. In our code, we first include the necessary library header files. We used a JSON parser library from username bblanchon of GitHub to parse the JSON text provided by the API XPU API, which contains the weather information. Then. We initialize variables and constants for the weather API, NTP time request, and Gen4 IOD graphics handling. Inside our setup routine, a serial communication port is opened for debugging. Then we connect the Gen4 IOD to the access point using the SSID and password. After a quick delay, we request and update the time using the request time function. Then we initialize the Gen4 IOD. Finally, we request weather forecast data. Inside our main loop, we are performing a non-blocking delay for 1000 millisecond, which will count the time independently. Then inside it, whenever we reach an R of counting, the project will request and update the time automatically using the request time function. Then if the R is equivalent to 6, 12, or 18 respectively, the project will request and update the weather forecast automatically using the request forecast function. We hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos, please visit our YouTube channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching.